those who are for God believe. The Lord delivers them in times of trouble. The, tr the Lord protects and preserves them. They are counted among the blessed in the land. He does not give them over to the desire of their foes. The Lord sustains them on their sick bed and restores them from their bed of illness. I said, have mercy on me, Lord. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies say of me in malice, when will he die and his name perish? When, all, when one of them comes to see me, he speaks falsely whilst his heart gathers slander. Then he goes out and spreads it around. All my enemies whisper together against me. They imagine the worst for me, saying, a vile disease has afflicted him. He will never get up from the place where he lies. Even my close friend, someone I trusted, one, one who shared my bread has turned against me. But may you, but may you have mercy on me, Lord. Raise me up, that I may be them. I know that you are pleased with me, but my enemy does not triumph over me. Because of my integrity, you will hold me and set me in your presence forever. Praise to be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Amen. 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 Sometimes God is just looking for our yes.
I believe we have made a good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Now we are being told that we have to fight the good fight of faith. One thing that I know is that in a fight, no matter, it doesn't matter what fight it is, it's not pleasant, there's nothing good about it. In the fight, some wrestle for, for, for his career, some fight for fun, some fight for something else. But in the end, it's not really pleasant. Sometimes some people would be left hurt, and some people would even die, and some people would even be crippled. So what's good about fighting a good fight? There's nothing good about it. But yet we are being told that we have to fight the good fight of faith. We have to lay hold, he says, lay hold of the internal life. So for me, this is a fight I must win. Whether it's painful, whether it hurts, whether it's what, I still have to win. Because I know I have to lay hold of the good thing eternal life. Second Timothy chapter 4 from verse 6. For I am already poured out like a drink offering, and the time for my departure is near. I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. So if I might fight the good fight of faith, and my main goal is to lay hold of the internal life in the end. So to me, right now, it means that this life I'm living here on earth is the battleground. Mm -hmm. This is now where I have to battle it out. This is where I have to take off it. This is where I have to fight it all. When I go up, it's just going to be for me to receive the crown and rejoice. Yeah. Okay. So, it says, we have met the confession. And when we have met the confession, we know Paul is saying that there is a crown waiting for me. So there is great destiny awaiting for me. As there is great destiny awaiting for me, I have to walk in the, in the, in the righteousness. You see, it's in the righteousness, the crown of righteousness. So it's not just a crown, merely crown. It's a crown of righteousness. You know, like soldiers, our soldiers here on earth, they go for preparation, right? And I believe there are certain requirements that is needed for you to be a soldier. Am I right? Yes. So when you go there and you are going to be, I think vetted, if I may say the word or whatever, they will vet you, see how fit you are, mm -hmm. how is your performance, mm -hmm. and whether you have got any sickness and everything that can affect your, 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 your performance. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter whether you are going to be a chef in the, in the army, yes. because they are chefs in the army. And it doesn't matter whether you are going to be in the battleground. Yes. You're still going to go through those vetting and you still have to go through that training. Yes. So do we also. Yes. It doesn't matter which part are we taking. It doesn't matter where we are running to be. It doesn't matter, but we still go to go through the same training. Yes. And when we still got to go through the same training, we have to qualify in the end. Mm -hmm. It's a war, like I see, that I have to win. Yes. It's the fight mm -hmm. that I have to win. So, for the training that I have to do, I have to take preparation. Mm -hmm. I remember, I think the soldiers who start by running, running, and I think they put so many things on their back, and they have to run, and you have to achieve that within a certain period of time. But with our Bible, it tells us that we don't really need some to do that. The Bible tells us that faith comes by hearing, and hearing the word of God. And without faith, I cannot please God. So all I just need to do is to have the word of God. Amen. So if I have the word of God, then I, 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 
built upon my faith. The good thing about the word of God, it doesn't matter how small it is and it doesn't matter how big it is. And it doesn't matter how much you can quote it. It's a seed. And that seed, the little that it is, it will grow and it will germinate. The Bible tells us that the word of God will not return to him void. But it will accomplish that which it has been sent for. So if I take the word of God and I meditate upon the day, word of God day and night, I'm meditating upon the word of God. And if I chew upon the word of God, you know sometimes you chew something and you don't want to swallow it. If somebody called so to chewed ginger, I have chewed ginger so many times this past week. It's not nice. And I want to spit it out. And I want to throw it out. Even though I'm spitting it out, the residue of that ginger still stays in my mouth and it stinks. That's what the word of God does. If you chew the word of God, that residue, no matter whether you swallow it or you understand it or you don't, that residue stays within you. And it does something. And it brings faith. It keeps on bringing faith. And the Bible tells me that, that I have to write it on my heart. Mm. I have to write the word of God on my heart. This is my preparation. I have to write the word of, my, of, of God on my heart. The Bible also tells me that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So whatever you meditating on it, whatever you are writing on your heart, it will come out of your mouth. Good or bad, we will see it with your evidence. Now this is the evidence that we are going to see of how much faith you have got with what is within your heart. Paul says, I have run the race. So we have got to run with the word of God. The word of God has to become a life in us. I have to become a living word. I have to become that what the word is saying to me. I was listening this morning and we were talking about love, loving one another. Sometimes, brother, it's difficult to love one another. I might say I love you, but deeply do I really love you? I can only show that I love you when I'm being tested, when that love that I am proclaiming is being tested. But still, it says we have to love one another. The word of God has to become a life in me. I have to pray the word of God. And the word of God is also has to be my sad love. Baba preached and he said the word of God is our sad love. Who is saying, I've run the rest. How did he run the race? I've run the race. And then he says, but you made of God before all this. All this is listed as above. I will not go dwell in that. In your own time, can you read above? It says, I have flee, flee from all this and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, gentleness, fight, the good fight of faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you met your good confession in the presence of the witness. So I have to run in righteousness. In my good fight of faith, I have to run in righteousness. I have to run in godliness. I have to run in love. I have to run in endurance. I have to run in gentleness. How can it be a gentle fight? Have you ever fought a gentle fight? Oh, no, no, no. You know, no, no, no. we'll be ready. Uh -huh. There's no longer, there's no gentle fight. But God is telling us that do it in gentleness. Yeah. We still have to do it. Mm -hmm. So I have to keep this command pure, without blame, without any sport. It has to be pure. Amen. I have to walk in love and endurance. Endurance means that sometimes it's going to hurt. Mm -hmm. So, back to Second Corinthians, Second Timothy, verse 4. Chapter 4, verse 7, it says, I have kept the faith. I have kept 
the faith. This tells me that at some point, there was some time you could have lost it, right? If I'm reading it wrong, correct me. If he's saying I have kept, it means that you could have lost it. Mm -hmm. But he kept it. So, how did he keep it? Ephesians chapter 6, from verse 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood and against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Hold on a minute. I'm fighting the good fight of faith. So my faith is invisible, right? And I'm fighting spiritual forces that I cannot see. How is that faith? How is that going to be? That I will fight something that I can't see with something that I can't see. Let's go. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that on the day of when the day of the evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckle around your waist, with the breast place of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, Take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which the word of God. As long as I take the shield of faith, I am covered. As long as I take the shield of of faith, I am covered. The shield is invisible because the enemy does not know what I've got. He does not know or he cannot see it. But I've been told that it's an extinguisher. Yes. It quenches. Yes. Have you seen when something fire is coming and, you, and they use those things to just like, <laughs> and within a minute everything is fine. Yes, yes, yes. It's an extinguisher and, and it says it, it, it quenches all, 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 all. So it puts to an end. It destroys. It subdues. And it silences everything. So I have got a shield. Hallelujah. I don't know how big my shield is but I know that I'm covered. Faith in me, 
and that faith is a shield, I am covered. It doesn't matter what is coming, you better be covered. Yeah. Hallelujah. Paul says, Lord, I have kept, I have kept, I have kept. So if he kept, you went through, for me, I take it in different ways. You know, sometimes when you are, he says, I run the race. And when you are running, and you are a soldier, you are running. You have got your, your, your firearm, you have got everything, you have got some of them, the folder. Right. And you want to get down and grab it. And you want to try this, and you want to try this. And the, the, the enemy is, 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 is throwing bombs at you, and sometimes you dodge it. And they are throwing at the other side, and you go through this side. And you are throwing it, and they are going through this side. It's a trial. Yes. And they are going through the trial. James chapter 1, verse 2, it says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds. Trials, plural, trials of many kinds. Consider it all joy. Because you know that you're testing, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Hallelujah. Hold on a minute. I am going through a trial. But it's not a trial. It's my faith that is being tested. So whatever I am going through, it's a test to see, will she hold on? Will she fail? Will she lose it? It's a trial. Let's go. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. I'm going through many trials, right? It's not even a, a trial of one. It says trials of many kinds. So it's not the same thing. They are different types, mm. different sizes of the trials, mm. different everything. If I tell you, brother, and yesterday, I did not think I'll be able to stand here. I did not think I'll be able to stand. I was with my sister, and we were driving, and I told her, I am so hot. Can you touch me? I am sweating. And I was the one driving. What I did not tell her was that I feel like I'm going to faint. I can't even see properly. And I'm driving. And we ended up going on the A500 and I'm like, God, please, I just need to preach tomorrow. Do not let me die on this A500 because I can't see. And I can't tell her because I don't want her to panic. <laughs> now I'm like, are you testing me or this and that? But if it is you, just take the wheel. Now we go to your place and then they said, oh, let's go and pick my daughter up. And I'm thinking, now we're eating another daughter again, another person again, if anything happens. And to me now, I'm thinking, if I drop them, how am I going to drive now to my house? Because I can't really see. But what God was just needed was to say, you know, in all this, would you trust me? Would you just trust me? Hallelujah. And in all that, God ended up showing himself. Hallelujah. So we go through many trials. We go through many tribulations. We go through so many things in life. Some things we have brought them upon ourselves. Some of them we haven't even brought them upon ourselves. We just trembled upon ourselves in them. Yes. And you think like, where did they, this come from? I did not ask for this. But it's the testing of your faith. Amen. But then the Bible is telling me that I have got to rejoice. Yeah. I've got to sing praises. I've got to do everything and rejoice in it. In that trial, I've got to sing. I've got to shout for joy. Because I know in the end, it's, there's a byproduct out of there. 
That's why I say bring it on Saturn, bring it on Saturn. Because I know in the end there's greater joy for me. It's telling me it brings me completeness. You know sometimes you think you are full, but you are not full. You think you got it all, but you don't get it, you don't have it all. He brings you to completeness. Lacking nothing. And anybody be at a position whereby you don't lack anything. You got everything you need. Lacking nothing. Oh. Trials. It's a test. It's a test of my faith. And it's a fight that I must win. It's this fight that I'm fighting that I must win. Back to 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8. Paul says, Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord the righteous judge who award me for that day. And not only to me, but also to who we have loved for his appearing. So, in our fight of faith, in our testing, in this rest, in the calling that God has called us for, we must fight the good fight of faith. And we fight the good fight of faith. We know that we went through challenges, we went through troubles, we went through temptation. But one thing we must know is that it is the testing of our faith. Mm. And if it is the testing of our faith, it's going, supposed to bring us to completeness. It is supposed to bring us to fullness. It is supposed to bring us to the end whereby I will be with my love, and he will be saying to me, well done, that faithful servant. And I would say, I have run the race, I have finished my course, and he will lay the crown of righteousness upon me. It will be very, very sad that we will stand here and we are all singing, hallelujah, praise God. And on that day, we miss the crown. And on that day, we say, where is Mr. B? Where is CCC? Where are they? And they have missed the crown. We must lay hold of the eternal life that has been presented unto us. It's a fight. It has not been promising that it's going to be easy, no? And it doesn't say that it's going to be smooth sailing, no? But the Bible says that if we write the word of God unto our heart, God will make a way where there seems to be no way. God will be our comforter and he will be our director and he will direct all our path. Then it says, once I was young and now I'm older, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. He's all looking for righteousness unto you. He's all looking and seeing that, are you in right standing with me, my son? Are you in right standing with me, my daughter? Are you walking according to the way that I have provided for you? On that day, it's not only going to be just you. It's going to be you, you, you. And you, as long as we hold on to the word of God, as long as we keep our faith, as long as we say, Lord, even if it hurts, we are keeping the faith. Even if it's difficult, we are keeping the faith. Just like the soldier, sometimes it's heavy, but they still run to fight. They are running to fight for the country. Why not run to fight for the kingdom? Thank you, Jesus. Brethren, for me, I choose this race. I run this race. I know it will be 
there will be camps, there will be paddles, there will be valleys, there will be hills, there will be everything. But I know I redeem a living. Yes. And I know that He will direct our path. The question is unto you, I leave it unto you. Mm -hmm. Which race are you going to run? Are you going to fight the good fight of faith? Like I told you, that the fight is not pleasant, but in the end, it's a good fight. Are we going to lay hold together the internal life and we will be praising together with the saints? And we all have our crowns on top of us. Are we gonna be that? Are we gonna lay hold of the truth of gospel? Are we gonna run with it? Are we gonna live the way that God has called us to be? Amen.